Hi guys, it's Jasmine. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. Um, today I was going to talk about how to get the job that you want and I recently um, got a new job. It's like an office job, very adult. But it made me think, wow, I have had over 10 jobs and I'm not even 20 yet. So I have been on a lot of interviews. I've definitely written quite a few resumes and I thought it could be helpful to share my experiences and tips with you. So I have a handy dandy notebook here. If you see my last video, um, I used this notebook to take notes because I ramble a lot. So hopefully this will keep me on track. Okay, so the first thing you're going to focus on is your resume. You can't get a good job without a good resume. So let me just break that down for you. So a resume, the first thing you're going to have is information about you. So your name, your address, your phone slash email. You want to give the interviewer a way to contact you back when they want to hire you. So there's a lot of templates you can use online, even... Um, what is it called? Google Docs. There's a few resume templates that you can use. Um, and yeah, so if you're not sure on how to format it, um, there's a lot of templates you can find online. The next thing you're going to have is your job experiences. Or if you're maybe young and you haven't started working yet, um, you can put your volunteer experience. Anything that would be relevant to show that you're trustworthy and that you can do the job. Um, for every job experience or volunteer experience, you're going to write a brief summary of your responsibilities and the things that you had to do. Um, a little tip for you, I would put whatever is relevant. So say that you're applying for somewhere that's very fast paced, you can put that you have experiences in a fast paced environment, you're good at multitasking, things like that, um, that will show that you are a good fit. Next, you're going to put any awards or achievements. If you don't have any, I don't. Just don't put it on there. Um, maybe you did really good in school. You can put your GPA. If it's better than like 3.5, I'd put it on there. If it's not, maybe leave that part out. And um, lastly, you can put any references. Um, everything that I said isn't required. Your, your resume is going to be personal to you. Um, and anything that you think will be relevant to the job that you're applying to, go ahead and put that on there. And anything that will make you look good, pretty much, just put it on there. Next, we're going to talk about cover letters. Um, now, I feel like it's not really required everywhere to have a cover letter, um, especially if you're applying online. Some websites will have you put in a cover letter, some will say it's optional, some won't have that option at all. But basically, the point of a cover letter is to show um, your personality and for you, it'll give you a chance to explain why you deserve the job or why you'd be the best at it. Um, it's a good place to also explain anything in your resume that you might have to explain. Maybe you took a six month gap of not working or maybe you never had a job or maybe got fired from your last job. Whatever the resume, whatever the interviewer is probably going to wonder when they receive your resume, your cover letter is your chance to explain before they meet you so that they can decide whether you deserve an interview or not. Next, we're going to talk about dress code. So let's say you apply for a job and yay, they call you back, they want to interview, and you're just like, what the heck, I have no idea what to wear. Trust me, this is something that I still like stress about after going on 10 plus interviews. No matter where you're applying, you want to look professional and you want to look like you can be taken seriously. Um, let's say you're working somewhere fast paced, I would wear something comfortable. Maybe don't wear like a suit to like a casual environment. That's just me though. Let's say you're working somewhere like a desk job. You definitely want to dress a little more conservative. I wouldn't show a lot of skin. Um, I would cover tattoos just in case. Um, more and more places are allowing you to show your tattoos, but it's still kind of a rule that you shouldn't in your workplace. And I would keep makeup to a minimal unless you're working somewhere trendy, maybe a clothing store or a makeup counter, that would be a good place to kind of show off your style. It really depends on where you're applying. So the general rule of thumb is dress in a way that it'll make it easy for the interviewer to imagine you working there. And if you're working somewhere that's really casual, let's say like a serving position, when in doubt, dress a little nicer than your position calls for. And yeah. So now you know what to wear. 
Now you gotta get ready for your interview. Um, definitely practice. You can look up interview practice questions online and the common ones are why would you be good for this job or what is your best attribute, what's your worst attribute, other stereotypical questions like that. A lot of interviews that I've been on were really short and it was just like, so tell me about yourself. Oh, I hate that question. It's just like so open-ended and you can go rambling on about everything about your life. Basically what people are asking you when they ask you that, basically they mean why do you deserve this job or what in your past makes you qualify for this job. So if your interviewer says, tell me about yourself, I would just explain what is relevant. <laughs> don't tell them about your collection of, I don't know, mugs or something random like that. Don't tell them, don't ramble about your life. Um, tell them, where did you go to school? Where, where is the most recent place you worked? Why did you leave there? Why are you looking for a new job? Things like that, things that will make them say, oh, she would probably be really good at this place. Basically in an interview, it's your time to low-key beg for the job, but don't look desperate. So just be like, oh, um, my past experience, I did this and it'll really help me with this job here. I'm really punctual, I'm a team player. Um, just be like really personable, make them like you force them to fall in love with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, just sell yourself, but do not look desperate, okay? And before your interview, I would definitely think happy thoughts. Think about what kind of impression you wanna leave. In general, um, I feel like when I don't know what to say, I kinda just like smile and laugh. So a lot of the times, okay, people have asked me about like, because I, I'm really young, they see my ring, they're like, oh, are you married? Like a lot of interviewers will ask me that for some reason. And I'm like, oh yeah, like I met my husband like a long time ago, and blah, 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 like we're married, yeah. And then people will be like, so like into that story that they won't even think about the interview anymore and get like a casual conversation flowing. And then most managers will just be like, oh, I met my husband or wife, blah, blah, blah. And they'll tell me about their lives and low key, I don't really care, but I pretend like I care. Okay, girl, I'm like, ha, 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 so funny. But like more, more realistic, you know? And just like, I act like I care when low-key I don't and just be like super casual and fun have a conversation flowing okay just be very like laid back and even if you're like freaking out on the inside just smile and just be like relax and you're like oh really that is so funny oh my gosh this is what I did and blah 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 I hope you know what I'm talking about basically what I'm trying to say is relax be confident, be cool, but when you're freaking out, don't look like it. You gotta pretend like you already have that job and you're just talking to the manager. You gotta pretend like you already have the job, okay? You gotta go in there thinking, okay, so if you take nothing from this video, all I want you to remember is be confident and smile and have a good personality because no matter where you work, they, they can always train someone how to do their job. They can always train you how to, how to work the machines or how to deal with the merchandise or whatever it is that you're doing with your job but no one can teach you how to have a personality so if you go in there with the best personality of all the candidates I I guarantee it they're gonna pick you all right so I really hope you learned something from this video um, it was kind of random and just pulled together if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe down below button is down there and um, if you have any requests comments concerns questions um, please feel free to put it down in the comment box below and until I see you guys next time bye hope you have a lovely day or evening or afternoon or whatever it is where you are okay bye